Um, what I was about to say was um, that it starts in the schools and maybe it's, we, we, we feel like it's happening right now, but it's something that has been happening for generations and it's slowly been taken away from us and we are, we're not catching it because first it was a pledge of allegiance because it had God in it. Second, there was no prayer. Then they were trying to go after even saying the um, Christmas tree. So they've been working at this for many, many generations. And they slowly right. been pulling and pulling God out of everything we do. And, you know, for, for better or worse, what we're talking about here, it does allow for more evil to slip in and more wrong teachings or something that we don't believe in in our own morals and values. And then who's more impressionable than our young children? And right. that's where it comes with the separation of child and parent because they're being taught something completely different at home and their parents are doing something that's completely wrong. And Absolutely. that's where I think that we've, we've, I, I, that's why I think it's been past the time that we step in and do something. I think that these, these little things that have been taken away that, you know, we have to fight so hard to get back now. Well, the, the problem is, is we don't actually live what we believe. So schools is one of the areas where I get in trouble. When I talk to my Re Republicans, brothers and sisters, and I bring up the school system and I tell them what I think, mm -hmm. first thing they do is look around to see, like, if anybody else is listening before they respond. Yeah. Because it's a taboo issue. But honestly, as a Christian, yeah. we should not be sending our kids to public schools because they spend most of their time in a non-biblical worldview that opposes God, right? So, and I ask the Republicans all the time, why do we fund and support a public school system that opposes the Republican values? Like, why do we do that? We shouldn't do that. You know, I, I, I think we should actually defund all public schools and, and sell off all the land and not tax the people for public schools. And guess what would happen? It might lower some people's lifestyles like it did mine, right? When we pulled our kids out of public schools. But guess, we're now a, a, like a tribe, you know? If one of us leaves, it feels kind of weird. Um, if I walk out the door, my kids go, where are you going? You know, we work together. We, we uh, you know, homeschool. I got a home business. We, we made our life such that we teach the kids, right? And they understand um, biblical concepts, right? And we have some that choose not to follow them. They're just like, yeah, I believe everything you're saying, but I don't want to, I don't want to do that, you know? But for the most part, our kids, as they grow up, the worldview that they have is a biblical worldview. And that's very, very important. When you send your kids to school, they come back and say things like this. All right, I believe in God, but I don't like a God that doesn't love everybody. Like, you know, my gay friends. Like, if, if he's going to send them to hell, I, I just can't accept that, right? Because you think you're giving them a worldview the few hours that you have them, and you're not. You know, the worldview is coming from the schools. So... You know, I would like to see them all shut down. And you know what? The kids benefit when they get homeschooled, they get private school or or the church schools them. And I think, honestly, that the church really has failed here because when if the church was doing its job, these kids wouldn't be going to public schools, right? They'd be getting a good education.